Now, Scott, you have a different perspective on your world uh, uh, of the supply chain as a supply chain professional. And there are quite a few challenges that supply chain professionals are experiencing at this time. How have you gone about applying data to solve some of those inherent challenges? Yeah, so Transvoyant is a predictive analytics solution provider that uses real-time big data, predictive analytics, and cognitive computing to give uh, supply chain managers real-time visibility of their goods in motion anywhere in the world, as well as predictive insights about supply chain disruptions so they can avoid them altogether. And if you think about the world of a supply chain practitioner, they're tasked with getting the right goods to the right places at the right time at the lowest possible cost in a very complex environment. We're talking about foreign suppliers, uh, customs clearance, international carriers, warehousing, manufacturing, all the way to delivery to the customer. And uh, in that world, they're trying to orchestrate the goods movement in a just-in-time fashion, hitting all those pulse points on time and communicating very clearly to all the extended trading partners. Unfortunately, today, the de facto standard for supply chain updates is uh, EDI. EDI is notoriously latent and is replete with some blind spots in the supply chain. So what we do is we ingest massive amounts of real-time big data, uh, over one trillion events we process every day. Uh, we're talking about things like live aircraft, truck locations, ocean vessels, as well as all the external variables that could impact the shipment, like weather, port congestion, uh, customs clearance times, consumer sentiment. We're fusing all this together to produce real-time visibility of the shipments, and predictive insights that help supply chain practitioners do their job better. And I think it deserves noting that IBM is using this solution to power its own supply chain for the server, server division. Well, thank you. And how are you using cognitive, cognitive computing? You're already a very advanced in your organization set of thinkers. So how are you using cognitive to further create products and services? Yep. So cognitive computing, of course, when you're dealing with massive amounts of real-time big data, there's a lot of material to be had there, right? There's a lot of lessons to be learned. And you can contribute these lessons uh, to people over time to, to point to the fact that when this issue occurred last time, who uh, solved the problem within the organization? How did they solve it? And to provide that real-time insight to people as they're trying to solve these problems and put out fires. And quite honestly, instead of put out fires, it's be proactive and identify and, and, and uh, avoid the issue altogether. Well, thank you.